So in this lesson, you're given two points and you need to find the equation of the line that'll go through these two points. To do so, we need two things. We're gonna use slope intercept. So we need a slope and we need the intercept. So we need M and we need B. So let's find M first. And I'm gonna use the method that I taught earlier in this playlist. So I'm gonna just quickly come over here and draw a coordinate plane. And I'm gonna estimate my points. So over two, up three is about right there. Over six, up one is about right there. If I were to connect those lines, my line would go down. So my slope is gonna be negative. So that's a good start. Now, remember your slope, your slope is your y's over your x's. That's what your slope equals, the difference of the y's over the difference of the x's. So now let's look at how far apart our y values are. From one to three is two. And then look how far apart our x values are. From negative two to six, so you're two to the left of zero and six to the right. That puts you eight units apart. And then I can reduce this by two on the top and bottom. Two divided by two, eight divided by two. And that's my slope. Now that I know my slope, I can find my y-intercept. So we got y equals my slope x plus b. To find the y-intercept, we know the, the line's going to go through both of these points, negative 2, 3, and 6, 1. So we can just pick one of the two points and use that to find b. So let's just use negative 2, 3. So I'm picking negative 2, 3. So this is the point I'm going to use. I'm going to put 2 in for x and 3 in for y. So I've got 3 equals negative 1 fourth times 2 plus b. So I just replaced my x and my y with 2 and 3. Now, remember, I've got a fraction here, so I'll make that a fraction. So when I finish this, I got three equals. I can reduce this and I can reduce this by two. So negative one times negative one is negative one. Two times one is two plus B. Now we're solving for B. So I need to take that negative one half and get rid of it on the right side and move it to the left. How do I do that? We got to neutralize it, make it zero on the right side. So now I got three and a half equals B or not six, seven halves if you prefer. So now I've got M and I've got B. I can write my equation. Y equals M X plus, and I'll write this as an improper fraction. Three times two is six and one is seven. And there's my equation. So Let's go on to the next problem. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to erase here so that you have you can see it better. So here we go. I'm going to erase this. Remember, stop the video if you're having trouble and just take a look at what we're doing. So when we're given two points, the first thing we're going to do is find the slope. After we find the slope, then we got to find B. So that's what we're doing. Once we have M and B, we can write our equation. So what are you always looking for? M and B. So here we go. Let's start out fresh. So I'm going to draw my little coordinate plane, just sketch it real quickly. And four, five, remember this is the X, this is the Y. So I'm going to go right four and up five. That puts me about right there. And then I'm going to go left two and up five. That puts me right there. So what do you notice? We have a horizontal line. If we have a horizontal line, the slope is zero. So we got a horizontal line, so our slope is zero. So in our equation, we have y equals zero x plus b. Well, that's the same thing as y equals b. Well, here, it doesn't matter what x is, y is always gonna be five. You see how they're the same there? So your equation is just going to be y equals 
five. And you're done. You put five in for Y, you get B is five. How are we doing? So whenever the slope is zero, whatever your Y value is, that's how, what you use to write your equation. Do we see that? Let's say Y equals B. Well, Y in both cases is going to be five. If it's a horizontal line, all your Y values are always going to be the same. And that'll end up being your B value. All right, let's go on. How are we doing, you guys? If you have questions, make sure you put them down in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them. So let's erase a little bit here again. Make ourselves some room. So what are we looking for again? We're always looking for M and B if we're going to use slope intercept form. We will get to point slope form also at one point. So I'm looking for M and I'm looking for B. So number three. We get here. I'm going to make my graph. And again, I'm not taking the time to make it perfect. I'm just trying to figure out what the slope is going to be. If it's going to be positive or negative, undefined or zero. So negative three, negative, uh, negative three, three is right here. Negative three, one is right here. Do you notice we have a vertical line? When we have a vertical line, the slope is undefined. Remember, vertical line, if you watch my other vid video, that's a vux. And the vertical line has an undefined slope, and it's in the form x equals. Well, x equals, what's our x's? Again, the x's will be the same if it's a vertical line. So x equals negative 3 is our equation. It's not going to cross the y-axis, so it's not going to have a y-intercept. All right? The only time it could have a y-intercept is if it was actually the y-axis which would be x equals zero. Any questions on that one? We doing okay? All right, let's go on. One more, you guys, one more. I'm trying to show you something a little different in each problem. So here we go. What do we have here? Huh. So I'm gonna first of all graph it, figure out what the slope is. So here's my line, or my coordinate graph. Here we go. Here's a different color. Negative two, one is right there. Zero, negative two is right here. When I draw the line, my slope's gonna be negative. So M is negative. Now, how far is it from one to negative the two. So you're one to the right of zero and two to the left. If you combine those, you're three, three apart. And how far are you from zero to negative two? Two units. You don't have to worry about the sign because we already know the slope is negative. Now, the other thing I want to show you, if X is zero in your order pair, your Y represents your Y intercept. And look at, Zero, negative two, it's right here. It's right on the y-axis. And the y-intercept is where your line crosses the y-axis. So whenever x is zero, the y-value is your y-intercept. So we don't have a lot of work to do on this one. y equals m x plus b. And you see how I wrote minus two. You can put plus a negative, but I prefer to write it as minus two. All right. A little more complicated. Again, if you need to stop the video and watch, put some messages in the comments for me and I will get back to you if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and I hope you subscribe. Have an awesome day.